Time right now, 625. Welcome back now to this week's Feature Creature. It's uh, Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is where it's all about, right here. Photojournalist Dakota Castile. Hmm. He takes us to the Tennessee Aquarium for the Florida Crayfish. This week's featured creature is looking kind of blue, but not in a sad way. This crustacean uses its blue pigmentation to protect itself in the wild. Check it out. So today I've got a Florida crayfish, which is called that because it is endemic to Florida. It's found in, throughout central and southern Florida. Are all Florida crayfish that electric blue color? It is not always blue in the wild. Sometimes they're blue, sometimes they're red, sometimes they're brown. This particular species, the blue seems to survive better than it does in other places, and so we see more blue ones in the wild. What would some of their hideout spots be in the wild? They live in kind of seasonally wet and dry areas. They like slow, still water with lots of vegetation, so mainly they're hiding out in the plants. But they also will find rocks, trees. They're very secretive and they have lots of predators, so they spend most of their time hiding. Is it safe to say that those pincers are not just for show? Those are for fighting with other crayfish. They're very territorial. Each one has its own little area and they like to keep everybody out. They're for protection. Florida crayfish are known for taking care of their young. How does that process work after the eggs have been laid? She'll carry the eggs on the underside of her tail and then even after they've hatched and become little babies which look just like miniature little crayfish they'll still hang on to her and she'll carry them around for a little while before she releases them. Can you name off some of their food sources and some of the animals that would like to make a meal of these guys? They are pretty opportunistic. They'll eat just about anything that they can. They eat plants, they eat invertebrates, they eat really anything that they come across. In here they eat seafood and I give them little frozen foods and put plants in and they rip them all up and then I put more plants in and they rip those up too. In the wild they're being eaten by fish like bass and sunfish and also in Florida they have lots of wading birds like herons and ibis and egrets and so they're a tasty treat for all of those kinds of animals. Florida crayfish will dig burrows deep into the substrate to protect themselves during the dry season. For this week's featured creature, I'm Dakota Castile.